Hey guys, Tattoo Kiwi Richard here, and it is time for a Terrain Tuesday. And to coincide with Terrain Tuesday, it is also going to be Nick's Terrain Square Circle Competition. So, I showed the board the other day. This time I've drawn on it. Kind of some ideas. Yep, that's yogurt. I'm going to put a big pile of yogurt there. No, just kidding. Ha ha ha. Um, did the same thing over here. What we have is my Tau Outpost. So it's going to be like a like Outpost 1 or whatever. Um, so what we have is I'm going to have a landing platform. So I'm going to use something with this yogurt container, which actually I was looking at it and think it might be too short. So I use this for paint, rinsing out my brushes. It is a Kool-Aid container. I'm from Texas. We love our Kool-Aid. So I was going to use the lid, sand off the writing, and probably mm, glue that to that to extend it a little higher. So that way that kind of raises it up about like that. I don't know if you can see that over there. Oh, look, I'm in the mirror. So, and then have the, I haven't worked it out yet. I'm going to look for something. I'm either going to do, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do yet, but it's going to be something round. I'm going to use this paint palette to mock it in, but essentially something like that, like a Frisbee or whatever. I'm going to have a ramp or a stairs that lead down, and then we're going to have a multi-story building. And kind of being overzealous in my head like I always am but I'm thinking I want to be able to open it up somehow and get inside the building um, I did order two things a while back uh, an MDF company I thought about using this but it's too big I don't think it'll go with it well uh, this is like an interior I'm saving this for my big old uh, display board diorama but um, I'm thinking I'd, I'd order the stairs and they have little resin computer screens. So I'm going to use those in there. And then I'm going to rig up some kind of command center on the bottom. And then maybe like an armory or an armory on the bottom or multi rooms. I don't know. Do an armory of some sort. Command center. And then the top is like an observation deck. I'm going to use also finally sorry I'm holding the camera so it's weird um, this guy I'm gonna actually put a magnet on the bottom like a big magnet and then that's probably gonna be where the circle is here but imagine it at the top so it kind of comes up a little higher so, so that's my plan I've got several of these. It's from a uh, egg carton. It's from the top of an egg carton. It's kind of what separate goes in between the eggs. And these are usually like two of them per egg carton. But I have a couple of these. I might use that at the top of the observation deck, kind of going around the edges and blend it in. And of course, I'm gonna use that great stuff foam to uh, spray around and build up, so it kind of comes out. Because what it is, my towel's planet. The one that they've colonized. It had an event happen. I haven't worked out the details of that event because I'm crazy. But what happened is it's essentially like a 15 month cycle. So for the first seven months of the year, the entire planet is covered with water except for like mountain ranges or whatnot, and what would be the continents. The continents are co covered anywhere from 3 to 10 feet of water, depending on where they are, the lowlands or the highlands. Um, and then, of course, they still have the oceans and the deep, the deep, deep oceans. So what I'm going to do is I don't have a painted towel handy. I just have one, this guy who's primed. So what I want to do is essentially, you know, when I paint it, I want to do like a water stain effect. So it looks like you could tell that there used to be water here. Because I'm not going to have it water right now. 
because the mid months, like towards the end of the seventh month, uh, mid of the seventh month, the water starts receding and then it goes through like a swampy dry spell. And I think it's actually like a, a 16 month cycle because I think for two months it's kind of a swamp, like muggy kind of kind of time frame and then it starts getting cold and then the planet starts to freeze over so I kind of gave them a weird seasons but I like it but anyway ramble 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 blobby blobby blah I want to do like I said a water effect to make it look like it's uh, been stained from so much the water receding and uh, coming in so I'll do the same thing over here you know I need to get some foam board for my walls for building my actual building and I'll use that for the substructure and then I'll build up with the the great stuff foam the outside and then I'll probably come back with rocks and, and glue stuff on it and I have some plastic mold or insta mold no what is it it's that white stuff it's like my brain farted. It's that white stuff, the powder you mix with water. It's not plaster, but it's the other stuff. Plasta make, plasta mold, insta mold, insta, so, insta make. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. I got a big old bunch of it over there. But anyway, I'm gonna do that and kind of smooth everything out, and then put some rocks and stuff in there um, to kind of give it the kind of more like a big mountain effect or rocky effect and then build out from that so so yeah that's my plan that's where i'm going um what i'm probably gonna do today is get this all glued together um since i don't have the foam core yet and i'm gonna get on uh kiblam's page the the uh plastic styrene page that he has on facebook um and ask some questions i want to know how to glue styrene to uh, what adhesive to use to glue styrene to the foam core and have it stay pretty sturdy uh, so you hear that back over there I'm going to show it off, I don't know if you can see him but that's that's my cat snake named Hulk yep, there he is there's a little guy oh, I say little, he's three, month, three months old and he's huge but he's a hoot we have another one, but she's sick, so we have to keep them separate. Her name's Lucy Goosey. But, but yeah, we're, we're Animal House over here. Anyway, more rambles. Thanks, guys. I uh, look forward to getting this competition. My daughter hasn't worked on hers yet. She's got school, so I'm glad she's doing a smaller one. And uh, she'll probably work on it here and there. But anyway, y'all cats take it easy. I'm going to get down to business, and I will talk to you some other time. Peace out.